guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm doing a monthly favourites video. I have not done a monthly favourites probably since I started my main channel study with Jess. I'm talking two years ago. So I wanted to trial a monthly favourites video for my vlog channel and see if you guys like it. So I hope you do. I know a lot of you really enjoyed my inspiration haul and different hauls that I've done along the way. So if you want to see more monthly favourites, just thumbs up. Also, a lot of things that I'm going to show you today I've been loving for a while, but because my last monthly favourites was two years ago, some of these monthly favourites have been my favourites for a couple of months. Also, comment down below if you have any of the things I'm going to show you today, because I'm always keen to see if you guys like the same things that I'm enjoying, what kind of foods you're loving, clothes, inspirational items, you name it. So I've tried to categorize these things, these things that you can't see but they're on my bed. So let's start off with some inspirational stuff, then we'll work our way onto food and then clothes. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, first thing I wanted to share for my monthly favorites is my favorite quote from one of my favorite decks of cards. This is called A Box of Birds, it's by Little Affirmations and I'm pretty sure I included this in my inspiration haul on this channel. So I'll leave it as a clickable card up over there. I think it's on that side so you guys can go check it out if you haven't. But my favorite quote is this card here and I'll read it out to you. It says, to be a star you must shine your own light. Follow your own path and don't worry about the darkness, for that is when stars shine brightest. So I really love this quote and I think I'm going to have it displayed on my desk for a few more days because it really resonates with me right now. And I always like to shuffle through the different decks of cards that I have and just sort of see which ones speak to me on that given day, but this is definitely a favourite. The next thing is courtesy of Bubba, my lovely Adam, my beautiful fiancé. So he bought me another mug from T2. I think he bought this for me just after I filmed my tea haul on this channel and I had just mentioned that the pantry is kind of filling up and there's no more room for more teacups and the tea collection is just ever increasing but nonetheless he still went out and bought me another one and I love this this is honestly my favorite one at the moment I've used it most mornings so you take off the lid and either it acts as a little well either it acts as a little lid to keep your tea warm if you're working and you kind of want to come back and forth with your tea but otherwise you can use it as a little coaster if you turn it around that way or it can hold your tea bag which is really cool and it has a beautiful little pattern on the inside then it comes with a tea infuser dispenser I don't know what these are called I think it's a tea infuser and it's really good because a lot of the teas I have lately are loose leaf and you have to brew them especially all the beautiful teas that my friend Sarah gives me from her tea brand Impala and Peacock which I showcase way too often on this channel and no she does not sponsor my videos and then the mug is so beautiful I love the mugs at T2 because they usually have a beautiful pattern on the inside as well and I love the colors I feel like it's a little bit of a Moroccan or Indian style I don't know I just find it really interesting and I don't have a mug like this so thank you Baba one more under the category of inspiration slash self-care is this which I have mentioned probably too many times on my channel but I'm gonna say it again and maybe one day Sage will finally contact me and say hey Jess we love your work here's a lifetime supply of Sage probably not but a girl can dream so I have an obsession with this brand because I love oil blends I love essential oils I usually burn essential oils in the main room in the apartment but I really do like having a roll on because I always put it on my wrists and sometimes behind my ears as well. This one is the Stress Relief and the other one that I have is called Moon Cycle and it's for your period slash girly time of the month slash ladybug, whatever you want to call it. But this is my favorite one, the Stress Release I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you screw off the bottom cap, there's a little oil dispenser so you can actually use it to put a few drops in your bath or even put it on an oil burner as well so I love this one and I really want to get a peppermint based one because I'm having an obsession with peppermint lately I did a two hour yin slash meditation class at my yoga studio on Saturday well probably like two Saturdays ago by the time you're watching this and they used all these different essential oils throughout the class and one of them was peppermint and now I am hooked so I really want to find a good peppermint spray and I think that sage does that too 
Okay, let's do one little beauty thing. I'm not really big on the beauty domain here, but I do love this lipstick. I had a photo shoot a couple of weeks ago and the makeup artist used this lipstick on me. The next day I went and visited my parents and my mum had actually bought this lipstick along with a few others. And so she gave it to me slash lent it and I haven't returned it yet, but it's by NARS and the color is Wall Kyrie. And I love it. I'm not actually wearing it at the moment, which is a little bit silly because you can't see the color. But it is just a really nice, natural, sort of nudie but tinted color. It just defines your lips really well. And I like NARS because they go on a little bit more creamy or soft and smooth. So you can use it as a liner and then fill in your lips as well. And the easier the better because I don't like taking too long doing my makeup. So I really love NARS and I think they're a really good brand. I've used them for a while. It's just that they're a little bit expensive. I think each lipstick is like $50. So I probably only have two in my makeup cabinet at the moment. And yeah, now thanks to mum, I have a third. Okay, now we need to transition onto my favorite treats for the month. And it's these. Now I had an obsession with Panna Chocolate and then I discovered Loving Earth Chocolate. And I didn't initially love this brand, but I do like these particular chocolate bars they've come out with because they're really creamy, just like Panna Chocolate and Lindt. I love all these creamy kinds of chocolates. Also, these chocolates are vegan, ethical, and organic. If you wanna look at the packaging, it actually says that. Vegan, no, wrong way. <laughs> vegan, ethical, organic. I discovered these when they were in my parents' pantry. My mum bought a couple of different treats and whenever Adam and I go over there for dinner with my sister, I kind of rave the pantry after dinner and I found these. Now, my two favourites, I think I've tried three. I tried a coffee flavoured one, but I don't like caffeine. I love the salted caramel Swayze. I have no idea what's going on with their names, where they came up with this. It's a little bit weird. However, it tastes delicious. And I also got the Banoffee Bang Bang. <laughs> Why is it called Banoffee Bang Bang? I don't know either. But it's really nice. It is chocolate and banana flavored. And it's got little bikinis. Bikinis, like not like bathers and swimsuits. Bikinis, like activated baby buckwheat. And it gives it a really nice crunch. The salted caramel doesn't have any crunch to it, but it is a double double deck, double layer. So you've got the salted caramel and then the chocolate on the base. I'm gonna open it and show you. Little disclaimer, I didn't have any in the apartment today and I really wanted to film this video. And I was thinking about what have been my monthly favorites. So I'm using this vlog as an excuse to have gone down to the supermarket and picked these bad boys up because they're just so delicious. Okay, these are not the easiest to open. That's the one thing I will say. But this is what it looks like. Yum. I don't want to eat any now because I'm sitting on my bed with white sheets and it's probably a really bad idea. But if you've tried the Loving Earth chocolate bars, especially these two flavors, please let me know. And if you've tried any other flavors that you highly recommend, also send the recommendations my way because I don't have a massive sweet tooth and I have a really healthy diet, but I do love my little organic slash raw vegan treats and chocolates. They're just the best. Okay, last category are clothes. I have been living in this jumper and I mean absolutely living in it. I wear it all the time. It is so yummy and comfy and oversized and fluffy. It's from Forever New and it is, I wish I knew what style it was called because then you guys could actually go and order it online if you wanted. In all honesty, yes, it is officially spring in Melbourne. No, we do not have frequent warm days. Today is, an exception, which is why I'm in a singlet. But I'm telling you, tomorrow's probably gonna be like 15 degrees and raining. So I've been living in this jumper. And the other thing, which I think I mentioned when I was doing my VidCon vlog, is this jacket, which I also got from Forever New. And I love the detail. And every time I wear it, I get such nice compliments. So thank you guys. And then one other thing, I have not bought bathers in three years. And I finally went and bought new bathers this month. There was a huge warehouse sale for Zimmerman. If you guys know that brand, it's a beautiful brand, but it's very expensive. The bathers are incredible, but I am not about to spend $240 on a pair of bathers. I bought bathers for $40. So I need to show you three pairs that I bought because I'm obsessed with them. 
Also, just check out the little organization I've got going on for my bikinis. I bought this hanger at Kmart ages ago, and then I thought, hey, it's a really good way to organize all of my bathers. So yeah, a little storage solution for you. Okay, bather pair number one. These are the bottoms. I think they're so cute. And also, I am not a fan of a bikini that is not a full brief. So these are pretty well cut well cut they're not too revealing i don't like having my booty out there for everyone to see it's just a personal thing if you like to flaunt it go for it but i don't like to have everything showing on display so i really like these bottoms because they're not too revealing and i love 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 the color and patterns and then it has a matching bikini top which is if i can just untangle it this one and it's sort of like a bra, it actually is very, very similar to a bra. However, I appreciate some extra padding and structure because I don't have a lot to work with. So, yay. Now, I've never had a mocha coloured pair of bathers, but I do love these. Got a little skinny black strap and a bit of gold detailing there as well. Sort of reminds me of like palm trees. And the bottoms also match and they look like this. And I've got one other pair as well, which I really love. And they're actually a little bit different. Well, the top is quite different. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to display this for you on camera because it's, <laughs> it's supposed to be a cross back design. So from the back, it looks like that. Here we go. I managed. And then from the front, it's got a little bit of ruffle. And there's no real structure to it. It's just like a tie around bandeau but I really do like it. And I don't have any bathers that are blue. And the bottoms are so cute. They're quite similar to the first pair I just showed you. Again, with little tiny pattern details, but they're blue with little yellow flowers. So they are the bathers I have for summer. And I'm so excited because when Melbourne decides to turn on the sunshine and officially warm up the weather, I will have new bathers to wear to the beach. And I'm really excited because I haven't bought bathers in three years. Alright guys, they are my monthly favourites. If you guys want to see more monthly favourite videos or more hauls on this vlog channel, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm always curious to know what kind of things you actually want me to be filming and I really, really enjoy doing hauls and doing monthly favourites and just, I don't know, like talking through products with you guys. So I really hope that you like these kinds of videos because I'd love to film some more for you. Alright, I'm going to end the vlog here but I'll see you guys in a few days. And don't forget to check out my main channel study with Jess and subscribe to this one, subscribe to that one, become an official Jessie cat, join the fam, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye guys.